Well, I deeply regret these strikes and in particular the timing, which have been timed uh, deliberately coming straight after Easter. The fact that the BMA junior doctors have asked their members not to tell NHS managers whether they intended to, to go on strike or not, making contingency planning more difficult. And also their refusal to agree any national exemptions. Other health unions like the Royal College of Nurses agreed national exemptions, particularly, for example, for cancer patients, uh, so that those patients weren't impacted. The Junior Doctors Committee has refused any national exemptions and obviously that puts uh, patients at greater risk. But we're working very hard to mitigate those impacts. Uh, I had a call again with NHS England uh, uh, yesterday looking at the contingency measures in place and I want to thank people across the NHS, particularly the consultants, the nurses, the many staff who are working today uh, to mitigate the impact of the strikes. What reassurance can you give to hundreds of thousands of people who are affected by this, who will be very worried about their health? Can you give them a reassurance that you are putting every effort possible into resolving uh, this situation and, and trying to get around the table and, and having a talk with the junior doctors? Well, a huge amount of effort is going in to mitigate the impact of the strikes, to ensure that emergency cover is there. The clear message to the public is for those who need the NHS, the NHS will be there in terms of responding to, to urgent calls, but to be mindful of the demands that they place uh, on the NHS. But a huge amount of effort has gone into the contingency plan, uh, the measures in place given the effects of the strikes, but clearly they've been time to have an impact uh, on patients, and I think that's very regrettable.